At this point, I suspect we may well need to raise the Fed funds rate once more this year and then hold it there for some time as we accumulate more information on economic developments and assess the effects of the tightening in financial conditions that has already occurred. But whether the Fed funds rate needs to go higher than its current level and for how long policy needs to remain restricted are really going to depend on how the economy evolves relative to the outlook. There's considerable uncertainty around the outlook. For example, the slowdown in the Chinese economy, the possibility of an extended UAW strike, and the potential for a government shutdown later this year all pose some risks around the outlook. So policy decisions are going to need to be guided by actual progress on our dual mandate goals, in particular, whether the good rate of progress we've seen on inflation over the past three months is sustained, and whether labor market conditions remain healthy as they moderate. This is going to require us to carefully monitor economic banking and financial market developments and to collect reports from our regional contacts so that we can set monetary policy in a way that balances the costs over time of over-tightening versus under-tightening monetary policy. So tightening too much would slow the economy more than necessary and entail higher costs than needed to get inflation back to our goal. Tightening too little would allow high inflation to persist with short-run and long-run consequences and would necessitate a much longer and more costly journey back to price stability.